a hot on the campaign trail this Saturday, rallying up support and money as they both buy for the White House. Fox 5's Richard Jacobus joins us live from the newsroom with a look at how both camps spent today. Hey, Richard. Arthur, less than a week since Vice President Kamala Harris began her campaign for Commander-in-Chief, former President Donald Trump's lead has essentially been erased. Now both 2024 presidential candidates are in a dead heat with 101 days to go. Despite vowing to once again hold outdoor campaign rallies, former President Donald Trump was indoors tonight in Minnesota, saying Vice President Kamala Harris is his new victim. She's a radical left lunatic, and she is, when you find out about her, all I have to say is defund the police. Vice President Harris was in the ritzy Massachusetts vacation spot, the Berkshires, tonight at a private event where her campaign claimed she raised more than $1.4 million, significantly more than the $400,000 organizers hoped to raise. One of Harris's presumptive VP picks, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, held a campaign event of his own in the key swing state, calling out Donald Trump and praising Harris for fighting for freedom. She has fought for opportunity and she has delivered results. Let me tell you something. That's a hell of a contrast with the guy she's running against, Donald Trump. The race for the White House is now a virtual tie. A new poll out from the Wall Street Journal has the former president leading the current vice president 49 to 47 percent within the margin of error. But with the vice president only kicking off her campaign this week, political expert David Birdsell says Harris will need to fight hard. She is the first Gen X candidate who has uh, been or will soon be a nominee of a major party. Uh, there is a youthfulness in that, but there is also a relatively uh, greater level of familiarity and comfort. Trump's vice presidential pick, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, continues to come under fire for controversial comments he made back in 2021 about women without any children. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. Birdsell says, however, it may be too early to tell if those comments can hurt the Trump Vance ticket. These are things that are going to limit his appeal among independent voters, and you need those independent voters to wind up in the White House, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. Vice President Harris is expected to make her VP pick within the next 10 days, taking a normally months-long vetting process down to just three weeks. In addition to Governor Shapiro, other top contenders include Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona and Governor Andy Beshear of Kentucky, all contenders in critical swing states. Arthur.